So we're at the airport and we are going to go for a ride in a small plane and the whole point of this journey today is to get some high resolution photos of the city of White Rock. And you remember White Rock is the city where we had that horrible windstorm and some boats broke loose and they crashed into the side of the pier and cut a giant hole into the pier. And the pier still isn't even fixed yet and that was like five months ago. So we're going to get up in the air in this plane that's behind me and we're going to get some high resolution photos with the Nikon D850. It's going to be a really fun day. Come on for the ride. Good thing I wore my aviator sunglasses today because we're gonna be aviating. If you need aerial photos, you have three options. Option one is you use a drone, but the downside is that your drone photos are not going to be super high resolution like an SLR photo, and there are so many places that you're not allowed to fly a drone. Option two is you use a helicopter, and option three is you fly in an airplane, and that is what we're doing today. Today our crew consists of Omar who is our videographer and he's going to be in the back seat and I'm going to be in the front passenger seat. I'm going to be using the Nikon D850 to shoot photos of the pier from the air. I'm going to turn the master on and get uh, the boost pump on. Fuel pressure comes up, give it around 7 seconds, mixture cut off. And we are ready to start that up. Prop clear! Our pilot is my very good friend Pete. He's the owner of this plane and he's been a pilot for over 20 years. Everybody go Alpha Tango Delta is on hotel ready for 3-1. and then we'll come down low over the water around that way. In photography, you definitely don't want to be shooting through glass because you always get reflections. So it's always preferable to be shooting through an open window. But the only opening window was on the pilot's side. So we needed to practice how that was all going to work before we got to the pier. This is how my arms would be like this. Okay. And that's okay? Yeah. Okay. This isn't bad either actually. Okay. Better than I thought. Okay, you know what? Then I'm going to go up and over, come around up to your side, see how you like it. Roger. As long as it's not getting the reflections, that's the problem. Okay. Always reflecting black. So, let me know how close in you want me to be as far as close to the shore. Closer than this? Yeah, the way you're lining up is looking good. And stay at this, yeah, stay this angle now. Okay. Because it might be... And here we are. This is the shot I wanted. Bam, 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 bam. You good? Yep, got it. So if it's possible, we can do one more, and I'm going to say higher up, believe okay. it or not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to do it going back? Yeah, going back, and then I'll get it out your window. Okay. Even when in an airplane, always, always check the histogram. And that histogram looks just great. Oh, shoot. Probably to back it or not? No. I messed that up. Dang. Dang. You okay, or you want to do it again? I'd love to do it again. I was in video mode, and I was wondering why is this not working? <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Uh, this altitude is good, or do you want to even yeah. a higher? This is good. I think it's good. It looks cool. Okay. You want me to bank it back that way? Yeah, again? bank it, bank it. Left of it. Hey. Go right. Yeah, you, you lose it for a bit. Do you want? Do you want one more shot of it? I can bank it again. Okay, 
Okay, so we're headed directly south right now, and that means we're headed to the U.S. Canadian border, and we're going to be flying up to 10,000 or 12,000 feet high, right uh, at the area of Mount Baker, which has a glacier on it. It's a super high mountain in Washington State. So we're gonna go to Mount Baker and circle around. It's gonna be super cool. We just crossed the border from Canada into the U.S. So straight ahead of us, just to the right, is Mount Baker in Washington State. And it's about 11,000 feet high. It's got a glacier on top, as I said. And we're going to try and circle it. But it's it's uh, surrounded by clouds. So uh, the jury's still out if we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. I hope so. Oh, a little bumpy. OK, so that mountain ahead of us and on the left, that's Mount Shuxin. And I have a really nice landscape photo of Mount Shuxin uh, behind Picture Lake. It's a, a really beautiful reflection shot. And it's just so unusual to see it from the air right now. It just looks so different than, than my landscape photo. We're at 9,000 feet. We're still not as high as Mount Baker, but it feels pretty freaking high right now. We're getting bumped all around by the peat. What did you say it is? Convective activity. Convective activity. Like, like that. That was convective activity right there. So let me just say, it is not as easy as you would think to take pictures out of a small plane because the camera keeps bumping into the window and it's just so cramped. You have to be back far enough and I keep getting the wing in my shot or the door frame in my shot. It is not easy. I find it actually way easier to take pictures out of a helicopter. We're right at the top of Mount Baker and if you look really closely, there's actually steam coming out the top because it's, it's actually a volcano. You can see the steam clearly from up here, but super thick ice, glacial ice. I'm glad I'm not climbing on top of that right now. Yeah, I call for it, got you. Yeah. yeah. It must really stink if you're out there. I'm about to fly a plane. For the first time in my life, I've never flown a plane. Okay, I have the plane. Oh, look at that, it's intuitive. <laughs> I have the plane. Whoa! Okay, I'm tilting. All right, go a little. Okay, it's called banking. Banking, banking, not tilting. Okay, I have a plane. I just flew a plane. Okay, so we had a failed attempt before at getting a good picture of the pier, and there's only one window that actually opens in this plane, and it's beside Pete, and it's only like this big by this big, so I can just get the lens sticking out of it. The reason that the photos didn't work out so well uh, on my side is because there's so much reflection coming off the window. So we're going to circle so that on that side of the plane I'll be able to stick the camera out that small little hole, use the um, live view in order to get these shots and hopefully everything's going to be in focus and it's going to work but it's uh, it's so difficult because we fly by it so fast and you only get a few seconds of opportunity. I'm gonna say left turn at the sailboat. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the stinking reflections. Okay, can I make my lean in? Yes, you can. Back one last time? Yeah. Yes. That's the one. I got my shot. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to work out pretty good. Um, again, we only had like four seconds, five seconds to get it because the plane has to be banking in the right direction and the wing gets in the way and blah, 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 but I'm happy. Touchdown. Safe and sound. Thank you, Pete. All right, we're back on the ground now, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda, it feels good to be back on concrete. So here's how this flight applies to photography. It's much more difficult than you think to get really good photos of a fixed object on the ground when you're in a small plane. So here's the challenges that I had. Number one challenge was the reflection on my window. When I was taking photos out of the passenger side of the plane, there was always a reflection that was coming in to the shot and it didn't look so good. So to combat that, we used the really small window opening that was over on the driver's side and 
The difficulty there was that I had to use live view. I had to have my arms right in front of Pete's chest and that window of opportunity to take good photos was only a few seconds long. So the moral of the story is it is way easier to take aerial photos of a fixed object on the ground from a helicopter because the helicopter has so much more glass and the helicopter doesn't need to keep moving, it can hover. So I'm gonna take these photos of the pier, I'm going to throw them into Lightroom and then apply some presets to them. And if you want to check out my presets collection, click the link right up here, take a look at the presets. You can get a free sample pack and they'll help you to create beautiful photos faster than ever before. So two days after we recorded this video, the mayor of White Rock held a news conference and made a big announcement regarding repairing the storm damaged pier. The city of White Rock understands and feels the significant value that the pier brings to this community. It truly is the jewel in our crown. Council approved and awarded the work contract for the immediate repair of the pier as you see it out there today. Uh, and we hope that by the end of August, we will have that up and running and people will be walking on it, kids will be enjoying it and hopefully jumping off the end of it as they have done for decades. This is our pier, this is your pier, we'll be enjoying it in no time at all. And if you want to see what happened to that pier and see the most dramatic video of a windstorm like I've never seen before that almost cost me my life, then click this video right here and check it out. See you in the next video and on the next flight.